This is Abel, and this has to be the strangest interview I've ever done. As we began to film, he was adamant that I face the camera towards the north, and this is because he had read a book by occultist Alistair Crowley. Whenever I mentioned God or faith, he actually seemed to blank out. It was just weird. I don't think he was insane. He was studying anthropology. He was a little slow in his speech, but he was coherent. This interview has only one small edit, and I left everything else as it was, hoping that those who watch or perhaps get one lesson, stay away from the occult, get ready for a strange interview. And please remember to pray for Abel. What's your thoughts on the subject of abortion? Abortion, I don't know about. Um, I know that abortion exists and uh, I don't really have thoughts and I don't, I don't really know much about the process of abortion. You know what they do when they abort a baby? No, I, I've never seen a baby aborted before. I don't know what the process of abortion is. Well, they crush the head and then they pull the arms and legs off. Did you know that? Uh, no, I didn't know that. So how do you feel about that? Well, I think that there should be adjustments and there should also be That that's um, that I believe that uh, anything to harm a person's body um, would probably be really painful. Even if it wasn't painful, it's not right. You don't kill babies in the womb. Isn't that right? I mean, if I could put you to death today without pain, it doesn't make it right, just because there's no pain. Abel, do you believe in God's existence? I, um, did you hear the question? Are you still with me, Abel? Would you like to end the interview? Is that what you're saying? Getting your thoughts together? It's taking a while. So what are you studying at the college? Anthropology? I study anthropology at Cerritos College. Do you think man evolved from primates? The process of evolution is something that I'm being taught right now in class. Do you believe it? In other words, do you think you're a primate or are you a rational human being with a knowledge of right and wrong? Cat got your tongue, Abel? Well, let me share the gospel with you. If you die in your sins, God will judge you by the standard of the Ten Commandments. Jesus said, if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. If you hate someone, you're a murderer. If you lie, you're heading for hell. The Bible says God considers lying to be an abomination. If you've stolen one thing, you're a thief. If you use God's name in vain, that's called blasphemy, and the Lord will not hold your guiltless. The Lord will not hold your guiltless. So if you die in your sins, on judgment day, you're going to end up guilty. Why, why do you ask? Because I care about you. I want to see you in heaven. I don't want to see you go to hell. That would be a, a horror beyond words. And we can see the genius of God's creative hand through this wonderful creation in which we live. We know he demands morality because we have a conscience. And he's not willing we end up in hell and he sent a savior. Jesus died on the cross to take the punishment for the sin of the world. You and I broke God's law, the Ten Commandments, and Jesus paid the fine. That means God can forgive you because of the death and resurrection of the savior. You can find everlasting life, Abel. Isn't there something in you that says I don't want to die? 
That's your God-given will to live. So if you'll repent and trust in Jesus, God will forgive your sins and grant you everlasting life as a free gift. Abel, do you ever get, do you ever get suicidal thoughts? Could you, could you go this way? Do you ever get suicidal? Yeah. Do you ever get suicidal thoughts? My life is a process that uh, should go on without having suicidal thoughts. Do you ever get them? I process things more than I think. Well, I'd like to give you a book on the subject of depression and suicide, and it will help you uh, to fight them off because uh, it must be horrible to get them. And Abel, I want to thank you for listening to me. I know it's been a little awkward for you, but I do care about you, and I, uh, I want to see you saved. Okay? No. Well, great to talk to you, April. And it's good to see a smile at the end. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.